hello lovely viewers it's alum lifeline tv and make sure if you are watching you hit the like button and you subscribe okay today is about the akpom the great akpom waterfall located in the volta region in Lokbatuta. and this waterfall as said by the elders or the old people of the Lokbatuta. this waterfall was once in a forest covered with bushes the only thing visible was a big three that serves as a bridge so when it was time for the Ashantis to come and have a war with the Voltarians, they tried passing the tree as a tree. So let's listen to one of them. Welcome to the YouTube channel. It's your boy De La Comla. It's been a while. Today we are here live at Lubatuta in the Volta region, Apajatu South District. One of the tall destinations. So actually we are at the waterfall. You can see the springs falling down into the fall, so it's a very beautiful place with rocks. So this is Lubatuta, we are at Lubatuta now. Lubatuta in, in the Fajatu South District. It's a waterfall. The waterfall is Akum Falls, and this is the Akum. You can see the fall right behind me, and I'm standing adjacent the waterfall. Adjacent the waterfall is a cave, a cave which contains stalactite and stalagmite formations. So I'm right here. We want to see it for ourselves and see how the formation is over here. So this is the entrance to the cave just after the waterfall adjacent to the cave. So we can see the entrance of the cave. So this is how the entrance looks like. The entrance is very broad, big, but inside is very narrow with the formation. You can see we are right at the entrance of the cave. We are, we are right at the entrance. And from here, you can see on the rock, on the surface of the rock, you can see the dropping of the water, the water which hardens to form the, the stalactites and the, the stalactite formation, which is the rock formation. So it's actually a formation of liquid that transforms into, into solid, into a solid state. So you can see a droplet of the water from this sharp edge of the stone. You see this droplet over here, we learned that this droplet is what forms and it hardens into the rock. So this is actually the, the stalactite formation. So let's get inside to see the bigger structure that we have here in the key, which makes the beauty of the key. So right here, right here at Lopatuta in the Volta region is the stalactite and stalactite, stalactite and stalagmite limestone formation in a cave, a very deep cave, which has two angles, one going to the top and one at the front direction. So this is the structure here. I believe you can see it. So this is how it starts. It forms here, so you can see the droplets all over this area. You can see the droplets. So this is actually the bigger one we have here. It has been dropping like this from the stone and all over the years has been forming. So you can see the particles have actually gathered to form the rock here out of the liquid droplets here in the cave. So this is how it's going. It's very big. We have three sides of it. Come closer so you can see it. So this is this is the structure. It's actually a three, a three formation a, a structure at a point. And Deep inside the cave too, you can see another formation. I believe you can see that the cave is, is very dark. So I have a, a torch here to help me so you can see how the inside looks like. It's a very deep cave and dark cave. Very deep and dark. So you can see another formation also forming right there. So this is how the hole looks like here in the cave. It's very beautiful. This is the stalactite formation, very beautiful formation. It's really, uh, um, I mean, it's a really thing that you can see here in this part of the world. So right here, you can see this side. This is very big, I mean, it's a very, I mean, deep cave upwards. So you can see it stretches deep up. You can see it's very beautiful here. This is a very beautiful site for hiking. 
you can hike it actually to the top. It's just unfortunate I'm not a, a good hiker. I would have shown you how the top looks like. So this is very beautiful. When you visit here, you have the opportunity to, to hike the top. It's a very beautiful experience. You can do this by visiting the Gota region, Lopatota, in the Afada Coastal District. So you can do this. This is the beauty of Gota region, Lopatota. It is also said that when the Ashantis were about to cross the bridge, the tree broke and they fell in the water, which is the fall. The ones that can swim were able to survive and the ones that can't fell in the water and drowned. And because of this, the ones who got to the town had to settle at a place where they can hide very well for their king to be protected. The Great Akum wasn't just a mere waterfall that you can stand up and go and see. So due to this, due to the loss of lives during these excursions, they had to sacrifice some sheep and other things and beg the falls to allow people to come and visit and watch the great sight. A lot of students drowned in this water. A lot of students lost their lives in this falls before the heavy sacrifice was made. And in fact, you need to see this place after the sacrifice. This place was just amazing. Like it looks just beautiful, like you've never imagined. This this place is just beautiful. You need to see this place and then see if like they have any place in this water region that looks this awesome or there's any place in the whole um, the world that looks this nice. The Akum waterfall is just very beautiful. Just that it has scary to stories told earlier. But now after the sacrifice this story site has become a place where white would love to come and then relax. Hey there, as if I know your mindset, I know that you just be wondering what the meaning of a boom is. Well, don't worry and don't think further, because I'm about to tell you that sweetest gist ever, trust me. This a boom means before this waterfall was actually um, exposed as a tourist site there was this big bed that used to swim in the water so the ans our ancestors followed this bed one day to run to check what actually this bed was doing at that site that every time we see it stopping there at the same time when it's done it flies back so they followed this bed and realized there's a fall at that side that the bed used to stop and swim there so the akpo is the name of the bed and moon is the water i see which means a water that doesn't get clear so a boom a place where that big bed swims in that river i know it. so with the cave actually when you get deeper into the cave this drops of water actually when you touch it is very soft just like water but immediately you bring it out the amazing thing ever you're about to hear when you bring it out it becomes hard like a stone come on you need to see this place it's very beautiful and then this cave actually serves as a hideout for our ancestors during these battles with the ashantis however history has it that with the ashantis battle leader named ampufu first came with 40,000 soldiers to conquer the Avis. But unfortunately, when they got to Alakpeti, the place called Uzungkwanu, they were attacked and the majority were killed. They ran, the rest ran for their lives and ended up scattering all over the Volta region. But later on, their king decided to come with another sold badge of soldiers so that he will confirm if the soldiers he has sent to capture Vo uh, the Volterians were able to succeed or they ended up joining them as their citizens. So on their arrival, they passed over the Akbom, which the three got broken and then they fell in the river. The ones who could survive survived and the ones who can't joined in the water. Wow, history also has it that the best soldiers that fought with the Asantes were wow, 
just look at this this is just awesome and amazing look at how clean this part of the water is and that is how chilled it is like a water taken from the fridge wow what a beautiful place you come on you need to see this place in the volta region though i know you've heard scary stories but now trust me there is nothing of that sort anymore this place is as peaceful as anything ever so this is the place where the ashantis who were crossing the three that serves as a bridge fell and then the ones who were able to survive survived and the ones who couldn't didn't survive it and trust me as you see it this way the water is deep and then you swimming in it come on you feel relieved if only you can swim anyway as you can see from afar you realize the water is not anywhere close to clean and you can see that is why it is called a boom and now you know the history of this beautiful place and then the coolest place you can ever sit to have a peace of mind and also to during these times that the Ashantis had to settle somewhere to hide their king, they actually joined the Infusarians due to their inability to capture them. And as you know, if you come beat them, you join them. Let's now go to the Ozumpo Mountain. Don't worry, don't hesitate i'm going to tell you more about this beautiful mountain called the ozonku mountain so actually this is the place the white had to hide their king so that they don't attack and then kill their king when the battle is ongoing so actually this place is actually named the ashanti's mountain because this was west served as their home since they can't join the Rotarian, which is the local Tota people in their town because they are scared they will be killed. So now we are going to where their king was hidden. In fact, you need to see how this place looks beautiful. So history has it that the Ashantis had no place to hide, so they have to hide here and this mountain serve as the safest place to seen to hide and then being be able to protect their king so we going further we are going to see the place where the ashantis build to hide their king in so that even if there are gunshots he will be protected and safe wow <laughs> so up there if you can see there's a place that looks like a building but actually it's not a building it's just stones packed on it each other and then we use them to form a place that serve as a king's hideout so actually when you're standing here you are able to see the total township it's very beautiful and then also other towns on the mountain come on you need to see this place is very beautiful so here is the hideout of the ashanti king and actually the ashanti soldiers built this uh, i don't know how to call this but they built this for uh, their king so that even if there's a gunshot towards this direction the king will be safe so let's get in and see how this place looks like it's very beautiful so those are the things and then as you can see in that corner that serves as the king's seat and then this are the things they brought along so this was where the Ashanti king was hidden so that he would be safe from the bullets and 
them there will be no harm caused to him so this is the ozonpo this is the ozonpo you need to see this is very beautiful just look at this wow 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 so we are going further and then just take a critical look at this you need to see this is very beautiful and then you will love to have a feel of this environment trust me this place is very cool and then there's nothing like wild animals disturbing so this is it this is where the Ashanti king was sleeping during the time of the war so history has it that when the Ashanti soldiers were here to avoid their king being harmed sometimes they do shoot in the air to alarm the people of the Loba Tuta that there are people here just take a look around at the township and then this is very beautiful you need to see this so we are going further when it happens that it's daytime they move their king to a place very far from their cave i would say cave their hideout so this is where the king used to sit just take a look at this it looks like a plastic chair though but it's not a plastic chair this is how it is set for the king so that he will sit on this and relax his back on the other stool. So this is Ozumpo, the Asante's mountain. Actually, it didn't mean this part of the Lobatuta is for the Ashantis, but rather this is where the Ashantis settled when they came for the battle and were not able to succeed so however when they were hiding here they were no, not able to fight any battle with the people of Loba to Tarada they stayed here calmly until they decided to leave the ones that stayed in the, the town reproduced with the women of Loba Tuta. so this is Ozumpo in the Volta region Lobatota. This is very beautiful. Let's take a look at this. Look at the township. And aside this, there are other towns that are being shown. Just take a look at this. It's very beautiful. And then everything here seems peaceful. There is no disturbance from anybody. It's not that there has been war before in dungeons. Now there's nothing like gunships anymore. Just take a look at those places. It's very beautiful. Just take a look at the other towns being shown. Wow, what a tourist site. This looks very beautiful. You need to come here and then have a feel of this. Just take a look at this. Wow, very beautiful. And those are the houses that look at the town to see this with different different series which as which also serve as herbs for the people of this town and also to shock you most there are people who have their farms closer to this place and also this is the place you get the best fruits banana pear just name it we have fruits all over here the best and you just need it. It's very beautiful. Just take a look at this. Can you imagine people are farming on this mountain? Wow. Can you wonder if this kind of thing existed? Just take a look at this. It's very beautiful. Look at the trees. They look very much greener than you think. And it is also said that the whites who tried making a road through this place to other towns failed anytime they try to capture this place and then send it back to their destinations and make plans on how to build a road here. Wow, is that not an amazing fact? Wow. Anytime any white comes here to do anything of that sort, making a road from this precious mountain to any other town, it fails. 
wow just take a look at this beautiful series and then flowers never ever imagined existed wow so the Logbatuta town from this Ozonpo mountain it's not quite far but the distance is just two kilometers wow yes take a look at this beautiful place so from here we are going straight to the Logatota township to have a look and feel of how beautiful the town looks like so as i said earlier this is the hideout of the ashantis when they are land field you had to hide their king here so this is called the Uzumbu mountain located as you all know in the afaja to south district Loba Tuta. this looks really beautiful just take a look at this don't be scared there are no wild animals around here this place is just cold and then you, you, you need to see this the place that is always good even if we are in the hamatan season and both in the rainy season there is no heat around here you need to have a feel of this even the township so <clears throat> this is Uzongpo, as i've told you the explanation earlier that the ashanti's mountain so have a look at this this was their hideout so those are some of their natives and this is the road to the town just take a look at this it looks really beautiful i hope you can see the town from afar this is actually the loba tota township wow this place looks very beautiful and peaceful a place you need to stay and have your peace of mind this place can serve as a vacation for both you and your family you are going to like this just take a look at this just look at how beautiful this town is so we go further and then have a look and feel of this beautiful town so this is the Lobatota town we have the Koji and Bome so this is the Koji we are going to the township itself so this is the town there are many people here and then here their area is actually not that fluent because they speak Guan the Ikbana and the people are called the Akbana so this is the Lobatota town just look at how beautiful houses are even on the mountain here just take a look at this beautiful house wow just have a look of this how oh, i know you, you you are imagining how people are able to live here but take a look at this they feel very comfortable living here without any disturbance from any other source just have a look very beautiful and then that is how the look back to that town looks like just have a look very beautiful that's their clinic up there and from afar this is how the town looks like just take a look at this beautiful house built here wow don't forget to like and subscribe to the history from the to the Labs. youtube channel it's your boy de la comora your tour guide to the Volta region so today we are on another expedition here in afaja to south in the Volta region a town known as loba tuta loba has about seven communities so we are at loba tuta it's actually a town on a hill, just like a hanging town at Shari. So we are here to um, know more about the tourism, tourism site we have here, like the waterfall and then the Uzongpo mountain, the historical site. So we are here to have some information about this place from my uncle. So my uncle will give us the history of the Uzongpo and the Akun waterfall. So stay tuned and please do us a favor by liking the video, share it to inspire others about what we are doing in the Bota region. So let's get to the story. Uncle, Marego, Maite, Umbu, 
um, so um, we are going to speak um, uh, the Luba dialect and we are going to have a translation for those of you who, under, who don't understand the dialect. Okay. 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 But uh, a bridge. Mm, okay. 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 Since so I believe you all hate the history for yourself. So this is the history of Akpum Waterfall and Ozumpu historical site here at Lubatuta, Afajato South in the Bota region. So this is about the tourism places here in the Bota region. You can just take a weekend um, tour to the Bota region to see this beauty for yourself. The waterfall and the Ozumpu historical site. It's a beauty to see. Just visit the Vota region. Thank you and please subscribe to the channel. Peace out. I'll see you in the next video.